Bird Shack Talk Stocks. We back again another day, another video. Like, comment, subscribe. Check out all the videos on the channel. We got some real dope content. But let's get right into it. So Bitcoin. Shaq, we talking about Bitcoin again? You're damn right we talking about Bitcoin again because I made some money on Bitcoin. So Bitcoin just passed 18000 Um, It actually made a record, a three-year record because it passed, when it passed 17000 Um. That was the last time it was at 17,000 was in 2017. So um it passed 18,000. So it's going to keep going up. Um right now honestly I'm looking for a correction cuz that's how it just goes with, with the stocks or whether it's Bitcoin or any investment. Once you see it start getting too inflated and it's riding high, just know that the drop is coming soon. So but they say it's not going to be like a a crazy drop off like back to 10,000 or something because um we already passed that, you know what I mean? Um, the whales, are, I think they say the whales are selling something like that. So that's what's driving the coin up or something like that. So let's read the article. Let's see what's going on with Bitcoin. So Bitcoin hits 18.8K as total crypto lock-in to five passes, 14 billion. So the Bitcoin, the price of Bitcoin hit a new 2020 high as the alternative to gold narrative, narrative increases. I don't know about that. Gold is always going to be worth something because you can make stuff with it. But meanwhile, smaller crypto tokens might be helping push DeFi to new um, heights. Also, XRP is up to $0.30. Cents. So XRP went through the roof just because Bitcoin went up. So it's moving the market, man. So let's go. Bitcoin trading around 18 k um, Bitcoin is above a 10-day to 50-day moving range of bullish signals uh, market technicians. So Bitcoin price made gains Friday going as high as 18813 according to Coindesk. Um, the world's oldest cryptocurrency then dropped a bit to 18638 as of press time. The last time Bitcoin traded at 18 k level was back in December 19, 2019. So like I said, so three years ago, Bitcoin was this high, but it hasn't been. Imagine if you were invested back then and you saw it drop. And now you got you, have, you didn't think that it was going to be three years later for it to get back. See, that's what I'm saying. Even with this weed stuff, bro, like... If you invest in, just know that you, you're not going to see a return on your money, I would say, within five years, bro. You can't expect to invest today and get your money out tomorrow. It just don't work like that. You know what I mean? So some analysts see 19 k as certain within reach, but Bitcoin won't shoot straight up there. Um, to John Kramer, a trader of the crypto firm GSR. It feels more and more like we're hitting a Bitcoin tipping point. Like I said, there's a correction coming. That's not to say that the price will rocket past 19000 um, a cool down is to be expected. Me, I think it's gonna drop back down to like I would say 16 and a half, and then for 2020, that's when we're gonna finally all see that over 20k um margin be reached. I expect a lot of coverage from the media and reinforcement of a narrative around Bitcoin being a better alternative to gold in the near future, as more and more prominent Wall Street investors like BlackRock are openly sharing their positive views. Also, remember PayPal jumped on Bitcoin, um, Square Cash jumped on Bitcoin. So all these big companies are jumping on this new way. You can invest straight off the app. So all that stuff is, all the talk is boosting up this coin. Um, also referring to an appearance by the CNBC's Squawk Box, the, uh, the income CEO of BlackRock, the trillion dollar asset manager. Do I think it's a durable mechanism that could be take a place of gold in a large extent? Yes, I do, because it's so much more functional than passing around a bar of gold. I don't know about that. He talking like Warren Buffett, uh, talking about looking at and now Warren Buffett investing in gold. So I don't know if it's going to take the place of gold. Gold been here before all this. Just remember that. So I don't know if it's going to take the place of it, but it's rivaling it. Because if we're going into a new currency, we're getting away from paper money, which we are going to get away from paper money. It's just it's inevitable at this point. I, I look at cash so different. Um, if you're not investing your money that you're making and you're just leaving it in a savings account that has you're not getting any interest on your money, you're kind of losing money at this point. So in um in the markets, open traders are betting on some coins uncertainty for December expir expir expiration. So traders expect a 54% 50 chance of Bitcoin staying over 18000 and a 44% chance of Bitcoin per one Bitcoin and a 35% chance of 20000 So it's a lot of optimism going into the coin. Um... But yeah, that's what's moving the markets, man. I'm going to put the article below. Uh, are you invested in Bitcoin yet? Will you be?